Hey, you guys. I'm feeling a little grim this morning. Not, not because anything's particularly bad where I am, but like I'm starting to hear rumblings of stuff, and I'm, I'm getting a bad feeling about <laughs> a few of these things that are happening in the world. Uh, like for instance, this morning I got up and I see that the there's this the militia is on its way to the Texas border to like stop the um, the people from coming in the, the caravan as it is and I'm like any other time you know any other situation I'd be like that's cool people like stepping up to like to like help out you know that's positive right but thinking about this they're not really it's not these are not these are like dudes in cowboy hats who are a bored enough b affluent enough to take the time and c uh excited about using polishing up their guns and heading out to some place and i'm telling you these these people in this caravan they're not <laughs> they're not, you're, opening fire on women and children is not going to be a positive thing in american history for anybody So if these idiots, I'm just worried that there's gonna, what's gonna happen is, right? There, what's gonna happen is, it's gonna be this like Florida fucking stand your ground law thing where there's gonna be a bunch of guys, a bunch of white guys with itchy trigger fingers who are gonna be like, I really wanna be the hero in this situation. And there's gonna be a bunch of other guys that also wanna be the hero in this situation. And it's just gonna take one dude to like pop a shot off and then all of a sudden everybody's shooting and we got a bloodbath on our hands. I mean a serious bloodbath of women and children done by civilians who should not be in this situation. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's fucking bullshit is what it is and it should not be happening. So I'm concerned about that but like I mean, there's not a lot I could do about it except say something. I've been on Twitter and I've been on on Facebook and all that, but nobody fucking listens to me. It's like the same ten people are all like, yeah, you're really on point today, Kevin. I'm like, great. Well, I'm glad you guys agree with me, but you always agree with me. That's the thing. I don't. Nobody else seems to be listening. Although, I do seem to be getting more and more people who who are like following me who are like on the right and I'm not sure that's because I've been sort of like opening up my message or it's because more people are kind of like accepting the fact that like my message which is basically a lot of times when I approach a subject I'm not approaching it from like I mean I don't give a shit what the Democrats do like who are the Democrats the Democrats are just a bunch of other fucking uh, politics people right I approach it from my point of view, which is like right and wrong and good and bad. And like a lot of these people who are on the right, they don't disagree with me about what's right and wrong. They just disagree with me how to do it. And so they're seeing that their guys are not just doing it differently. They're actually doing the wrong thing, like completely. So I think that I am starting to get some people to show up and, uh, and actually be to listen to me but I mean I don't want to be some kind of like spokesperson for like the world but yeah, I kind of do but I mean I really think that if people listen to me it would we things would be I mean if they really listened and they like were like oh yeah you know what I never really stepped back that far away from the issue and looked at it the way that you're talking about it like I still am surprised that I still have to tell you guys some of the shit that I'm telling you because it's like, it's pretty obvious to me when I look at something and I'm like, well, can we just like look at the headline and be like, okay, let's take it down a few notches. And it's so obvious to me, it's been so obvious to me all these years that I've never thought twice about it. I assume that everybody else gets it, but I don't think, I don't think a lot of you guys get it. 
And I'm not saying that that's bad on you. I'm just saying that, that like, I just, for some reason, I could just figure that shit out. And it's like, whatever. I think that there are people that can do that. And it's fine. I mean, I'm not saying that I'm better or worse than anybody, but I'm just saying, like, I mean, that's maybe something that I'm kind of good at is, like, picking at the problem and being like, okay, what's the actual problem? Like, what are we actually talking about? Because God knows we're never actually fucking talking about what we say we're talking about. Because in any situation, you're just kind of, you're, you're layering it with bullshit. And I do it too. I know that. But I try to do it less. Especially when I've got this whole persona on. So anyway, I gotta go get some milk I gotta go get some cream because I drank up all my cream. So Erin's like being real. <laughs> She's like, we bought two different things of cream. So I had my cream and she had her cream. And her cream was still like mostly full and mine's empty. So I, what can I say? I like, I like cream with my coffee. I like a nice creamy coffee in the morning. Uh, and some eggs and some other stuff because we eat a lot of eggs when you're on this keto diet you're really, really kind of stuck or like if you want something solid you gotta gotta do what you gotta do i'm trying i don't i would i could have all the meat that i want but it's it's sort of a hard thing to do when you're when the person that you're like renting a kitchen from is, is a vegetarian so anyway i love all of you i hope that you think about what i said and I will see you in the fun of things, okay? All right, be good.